Marcus Mariota was simply too good to pass up. He doesn't fit the mold of a traditional Ken Wisenhunt quarterback. He's not that tall, stiff pocket quarterback that he usually prefers, but he and the Titans fell in love with the 2014 Heisman Trophy winner during the NFL draft process. And it's a franchise that desperately needs a marketable on-field commodity. Mariota is going to bring that appeal. Let's just hope that he brings more success than Vince Young did when he was drafted nine years ago. It'll be interesting if Wisenhunt will cater to his strengths or tries to make him strictly a pocket passer. Jay Gruden tried to make RG3 into strictly a pocket guy, and that didn't work out too well, did it? Well, will we be seeing a uh, little bit of that zone read this year? We shall see. The thought early on was that Wisenhunt might settle with Zach Mettenberger, and Tennessee may have gone with Leonard Williams with the second overall pick, who I thought was the best defensive player in the draft. Well, they went with Mariota, and, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I like Mariota's future a lot. You know, um, usually in the NFL draft, you, you see, you know, when it comes to the uh, first two quarterbacks taken, guys that have gone one and two, usually one pans out, one doesn't. But I like both Winston and Mariota. I think they're both legit. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but... You know, I, I think they're both franchise quarterbacks. Uh, the biggest off-season acquisition actually wasn't a player. It was legendary defensive coordinator Dick LeBeau, who parted ways with the Steelers. He's a longtime friend of Wizen Hunts and will attempt to help fix a defense that was 27th a year ago, allowing 373 yards per game. It's year two of the switch from a 4-3 to a 3-4. I'm curious to see how the running back situation plays out. Uh, Bishop Sankey underwhelmed during his rookie season. Uh, there's fifth round pick David Cobb, who had a solid preseason. Um, Sankey was, you know, the top running back pick in the draft last year. There's also Terrence West, who was just acquired from the Cleveland Browns. The Titans went two and fourteen and lost their last ten games a year ago, and have now not made the playoffs for six straight years. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, the biggest challenge, you know, for Mariota will be his ability to read a defense. So um, before before I go position by position, make sure you check my rankings below. I got unit rankings, player rankings, all that good stuff. So make sure you check that out. So uh, let's start with Mariota. Like I was uh, saying just you know seconds earlier, um, the biggest challenge for him will be his ability to read a defense. Although Oregon's offense wasn't as much of a gimmick as, you know, people might have thought with Mariota under center. They incorporated more NFL routes than they usually did. And, you know, um, Mariota, you know, was, was pretty good. Uh, obviously very athletic, might be at his best throwing on the move. Also very smart, has a stronger arm than, than you might think too. So um, there's that, you know, the, there's like that perception that um, those mobile kind of scrambling quarterbacks, they're not accurate. They don't have strong arms, but uh, Mariota's pretty good. I'll tell you what, uh, you know, I like Mettenberger a lot too. You know, he's a starter in this league. I, I don't care if he was a six round pick last year. He's pretty good. Uh, I, I loved what I saw from him last season. He had the best poise in the pocket of any rookie I saw last year. The only quarterback I liked better in last year's draft was Teddy Bridgewater. And Mettenberger's second, in my opinion. He's confident he can get the ball downfield. He's legit. So, I, you know, I think they can get a good draft pick for him down the line. Uh, the emergence of Cobb in the first game, you know, the preseason might have prompted Sankey to pick up his play because he looked a little bit better after that. But he averaged just 3.7 yards per carry last year, scored just twice. Uh, he has solid vision and balance. We'll see if he can start figuring it out this season. Uh, Cobb is more of a one-cut inside runner. He's solid in pass protection, which is rare for a rookie and solid coming out of the backfield. The Titans, you know, like I said earlier, recently traded for Terrence West. He's talented, but, you know, he kind of dances too much, doesn't always hit the hole right away. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to hit it and go, and he doesn't always do that, but, I, you know, I, I like him a little bit. Dexter McCluster is a scat back who can line up as a receiver when needed. And, and speaking of receivers, the Titans haven't had a one that's gone over a thousand yards since 2004. That's a long time. Maybe Kendall Wright can break that trend. Wright is a fluid route runner, elusive after the catch. His production did decrease last year, but with the musical chairs at quarterback, I'm not too worried about that. Dory Green Beckham is an intriguing prospect. He's long, strong, and 
has enough speed to get past you. Hopefully the off-the-field shenanigans that he had in college don't follow him to the pro game. Justin Hunter has the speed to beat you deep, but he's yet to kind of figure it out yet. Enters his third year. He'll compete with Harry Douglas for playing time. Douglas was Atlanta's number three guy for many, many years before he came over to Tennessee. Delaney Walker will. Uh, Delaney Walker left San Francisco via free agency two years ago and showed that he can do more than block. He's a fluid route runner. Had a career year in Tennessee, although he is 31 now. Uh, long time left tackle Michael Ruse retired, but that's why the Titans drafted Taylor Lewan in the first round last year. He's got length. Is very technically sound. Jeremiah Potassi was drafted in the third round to be the right tackle of the future, but right now the stopgap is Byron Bell, who might have been the worst tackle in the league last year. I, I thought he was atrocious. Potassi has long arms, very powerful. Uh, you know, Bell and last year's right tackle, Michael Orr, they, they basically switched roles. You know, Orr is now the right tackle in, in Carolina. Andy Lavitre was just traded to the Falcons. He signed a huge contract in 2013, but struggled with injuries. Uh, Jamon Meredith will take over at left guard this year. 2013 first rounder Chance Warmack is the starter at right guard. Huge mauler in the run game. Brian Schwenke ended the season on IR with a knee injury last year, but you know I, I thought he was solid. I, I think he's a good center, so uh, there's that. The defensive line is probably the team's greatest strength, and it starts with Jarrell Casey, who might be the most underappreciated player in the entire league. At 6'1", 305, he's probably better equipped being a 4'3 defensive tackle instead of a 2-gapper, but... He's made it work with the Titans. He's totaled 15 and a half sacks his last two years, including 10 and a half in 2013. Uh, despite being undersized, he can still get to the quarterback using his quick hands when going to the swim move. Uh, you know, those hands really do make up for his lack of length. Against the run, he's very slippery, converts speed to power well, although he's not necessarily that strong. He has a quick first step, gets into the backfield, you know, pretty regularly uh, from what I've seen. On tape, the Titans have Dequan Jones as the other starter on the depth chart, but but there's a lot of depth at defensive end with Rapoti Pitoa Tua. You got Carl Klug, Mike Martin. Uh, you know, I, I think all these guys are pretty talented. Klug is the guy I like the most. You know, very solid in the run game, has a high motor. You know, always seems to be in the backfield in that running game. Sammy Hill takes up a lot of space at nose tackle, can get after the quarterback as well. Al Woods is a solid backup. Uh, the Titans' outside linebacker pair of Derek Morgan and Brian Arakbo intrigue me. Uh, the former first-rounder Morgan plays with good instincts. His motor is always running. Arakbo is super talented, but hasn't stayed on the field the last, you know, two of the last three years in Washington. His agility and strength make him a good pass rusher. Uh, Avery Williamson was a pleasant surprise as a fifth-round rookie, filling in for Zach Brown. He had seven tackles behind the line of scrimmage, was very good against the run. Uh, Brown tore his peck in week one and will, will regain his starting job while the instinctive Wesley Woodyard will back him up. The secondary is where the Titans really struggle, although Jason McCourty is really, really good. He's durable, steady, has great ball skills. He's confident and feisty. Uh, Bleedy Wright, Wright Wilson wasn't very good last year. Neither, neither was Cody Sensiball. So maybe former 49er Parrish Cox is the answer. He had five interceptions last year, very physical with opposing receivers. Uh, Michael Griffin and Denoris Searcy are the safeties. Griffin has range and athleticism, but also has a bunch of concentration lapses. Searcy, formerly of Buffalo, is a tough in-the-box type of safety. Uh, Ryan Suckup was 19 of 22 during his first season with the Titans. Brett Kern's 40.8 net average was a career best. And Dexter McCluster will take uh, you know, the, the return duties. Um, the Titans will, however, have to be better in kickoff coverage. They were the third worst in the league last year. So um, prediction time. You know, I, I've, I, I just did a Jaguars video, and I've seen a lot of publications that have the Jags ahead of the Titans. I'm not seeing it. Uh, you know, I, I, they both kind of have solid defenses, but you know, I, I think Mariota's got a little something to him. Uh, I think he's got a little bit, bit of that it factor, even though he's a rookie. I, I think the Titans are going to be solid. Uh, well, not small. Well, no, they're not solid, but the, but they're better than Jacksonville. Um, I, I had Jacksonville at three and thirteen. I got the Titans at five and eleven. So. Uh, it's, it's a step in the right direction. You know, they went 2-14 and 14 last year, so uh, the, it's, it's going to be a better year. I, you know, I, 
The running back situation is pretty scary, though, because I'm not big on any of these guys. Um, I do like Kendall Wright. Uh, the offensive line looks a little bit better. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, uh, so there's that. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at the Bitter Birds. Uh, I'm out of here. Take care. And, yeah, football's almost here.